Dean takes charge of this heavyweight bout. Here at ACC 62, they touch him up. Already you can just see a difference here with the smaller heavyweights. You know, look at the bouncing right now. They're moving on their feet, uh, you know, keeping a lot more uh, of agility. Dimitri, that's combat sambo background and such a great discipline to transition into MMA. It's got it all, Ooh. hasn't it? Yeah, he switched off now from the single to the double. A little bit of a guillotine attempt there, but that's really not a problem when your head's on the inside uh, for the shot. You know, it, it's very difficult to pull off a guillotine in that position. Stay patient, was able to do, get that takedown. Takes him down in the center of the cage as well there. Oh, Dimitri oh. looking for the armbar himself. He's got it locked up. He needs to be identified that he, and block it right now. Sergey, I'm sorry, that's Sergey on the bottom. Because Sergey did a great transition, went over, had him off balance, was able to get the leg over the top of the head. I thought if he would have went ahead and just popped his hips at that moment that he had it, uh, but he decided not to. But he's still in position to reapply it if he wanted to. Yep, he's, he's hunting for it right now. Uh, Dimitri needs to go ahead and, and reline the hips up. He's fighting at too much of an angle, and now he's getting stuck in a triangle. Armbar attempt there too, but not the way it's not going to work like that. Trying to reapply the triangle as well, but you're up against a very experienced fighter, in, uh, Dimitri. Turns the corner. Look at this. You don't see scrambles like that very often in the heavyweight division. Nope. Oh, wait. nice knee to the body there. Great discipline to fire that knee right to the sternum. Did not go to the head and take a chance. And right now, if he doesn't start putting a little bit more effort on defending himself. Herb Dean's right on top. He's saying that fight back, see some action. He's trying to lift up the top shot there. He's stepped it up. Nice way to finish that single. He stepped on base leg. Great footwork from Herb Dean as well to get out of the way yes. of that. <laughs> and, and his triangle defense is just uh, not solid. Let's put that. <laughs> Carefully picked adjective there, Mr. Yeah, Mayor. Was, you know, I still got to see these guys after. Just wanna, <laughs> uh, try to be nice. You don't have to explain. But yeah, right now, if he wanted to, this triangle is not being applied uh, uh, very uh, uh, soundly. He could just go ahead, you know, and, and he's almost out, really. He's driving forward. He's compressing it. Um, a lot of weight on top there as but well. But if you want to just get his head up, that's, you know, he needs to now posture up. Drop his knees to the mat, drive his hips forward, and put his head up. Oh, oh Sergey went for the armbar there and now ends up in mount with Dimitri on top of him. Yeah, and he locked up the underhook. It looked like he was going to be able to switch out to the side, but he just, he didn't get to his hips quick enough. And then Dimitri was able just to step right over the top, and now he has mountain. You know, he looked like he was kind of being fatigued to that triangle. That's why that first sweep, uh, it looked like he kind of gave it up, basically, because of uh, just not feeling comfortable with the position. Was able to scramble up well and develop where he is at now, but he needs to go and take advantage of this. One minute, 25 seconds left in this round, and that's a long time to be under a man like Dimitri Zalbotini. And being the mount, you know, it's kind of a patience game too. You want to be aggressive and, and you want to cause damage, but you really don't want to take a chance. You know, you can't be overzealous in this position. It's, it's easy to get reversed. Arms are there though. He's worked that really high guard now, looking to open up that opportunity maybe for an armbar or to rain down some heavy strikes. Oh, and There's he gets reversed. Uh, look at that. 50 seconds left, and Sergey Belastini is now back on top. 
patient work from him on the bottom there not to panic. He did. You know, his elbows were a little high for my liking. You know, I thought he was kind of exposed for an arm bar. And then he was able to push on the chest. Uh, it could have exposed him to being finished there. But, you know, what he didn't, you know, have exactly in the sharp technique, he made up for, for just explosiveness. And there's a lot to be said about that. Sometimes, you know, you can't, you know, apply it. It's a fight. It's organic. You know, there's no such thing as perfect technique. So, you know, you want it to be as high a percentage as possible. But you can make up for a lot of uh, inadequacies by going hard and fast. Ten seconds left. A back and forth battle. Sergey's showing us some great skills on the bottom as well, threatening with submissions, but that knee to the body almost changed the game. Most effective strike of the... Herb Dean overseeing this bout, bringing them together. No touch of gloves there almost. Friendly at the weigh-ins, but it's changed very quickly. Man, Dimitri just... Uh... Oh. Great counter left hook for Sergey. Beautifully timed. Dimitri's shots looking sluggish now. Oh, Dimitri is. Uh, I don't know if some of the triangles that he was in, they didn't look super tight, but uh, that doesn't mean they weren't. I mean, just, you know, I wasn't in there. <laughs> but uh, his gas tank, I mean, he is in trouble. And Sergey just biding his time patiently. Tried to go to the back there, but got caught. Yeah, great job of horning up by putting the hand up to avoid the, the uh, taking side control there, taking his back. Jumped up, was able to secure a nice takedown. And, and really, this is, if he wants to go ahead and get his gas back, being on top, but then being in a position of advantage is big for a heavyweights. Uh, you know, jiu-jitsu games and wrestling games on heavyweights are kind of all, you know, dependent upon who ends up on top. Usually, this guy is going to win. Three minutes, 45 seconds left in this second round. I think that, uh, you know, Sergey has shown some great ability to move and pivot on his back. If Dimitri, uh, you know, is thinking, you know, I think he needs to go ahead and drive towards the cage. But then he went and took advantage. You saw that Sergey popped up a triangle, didn't have good control of the elbows or the head, so that allowed Dimitri to completely just dump it over the side and throw it. And he, has, he had side control. Rolling with each other now. Dimitri back on top. And gravity is not your friend when you are under a heavyweight of that sort of size. No. Um, it, being on top is important. Wow, just kind of shoved him off. And uh, that, you know, again, not the most technical escape I've ever seen. But Dimitri is just so gassed. It just shows that he just... You can see the fatigue there. Could barely get to his knees. And mentally, that must be a huge boost for Sergey as well. He can feel. Oh, Dimitri cracking with every strike. Herb Dean watching very carefully. Big shots coming down. Rolling down into a turtle position right there. Try doing the, uh, we call it the fat man roll, where you grab the elbow and you roll somebody over if, the, if their legs aren't directly behind you. But uh, again, right now, he's just nothing with any kind of, you know, umph behind it. He's so gassed, and now the fight's going to get stopped. There we go. Herb Dean's calling that, asking for some fighting back. He's going to call this. And there we go, Sergey Bellestini. Uh, 
Herb had no choice but to stop that fight. So, you know, Dimitri was stuck on his back against the cage, head up. And at that point, you know, we've seen also, too, leading up to it, how gassed he was. So now, in fact, it looks like he might have taken a pretty hard shot. Even There's a lot of blood. We've got the, uh, the cutsman there. Mr. Jason Fielding looking after the fighter. He took some heavy shots there, but like you said, Herb was left with no option. There was No, it wasn't like he was winning the fight fresh, then got stuck in a bad position. Maybe you give him the benefit of the doubt to fight out of it. Um, you know, he looked like he was dead on his feet at the beginning of the second round. And so, you know, now getting stuck in a bad position against the cage, against Sergey, who was still fresher of the two. At, at that point, I don't think anybody had any, you know, questions in their mind that Dimitri was going to be able to get out and turn that around. All it would have done was just cause a lot more damage than it's already occurred right now. And we did see Dimitri's gas tank drop, but let's not take anything away from Sergei Bellastini. Two or three times he powered out of uh, dominant, when he'd been dominated on the ground with uh, mounts, side control. And that goes. We talked about the fitness being that smaller heavyweight. It paid off here and uh, got the finish of $5,000 in his bank account. Very nice. Sergey did a, you know, a lot of things, uh, you know, uh, he, he wanted it, you know. Again, some of the shoves and, and push and posting that he did to get out, they're not the best way to escape, uh, you know. But that being said, sometimes there, there is that just, you know, hey, get it done, you know. I mean, you know, we try to learn technique because we want to be as efficient as possible. But at the same time, I don't want a guy not to try to escape because, well, it just wasn't the right move. And I'm like, dude, just make it happen sometimes. Ladies and gentlemen, her case has a fun. It's a good one. A round or two. You're going to have a TKO to the strikes. Sergey. Okay. Sergey takes the win there. Moving to four and one. These are some of the big shots. Really well timed there on that counter strike. And this is the end. On top, raining down punches. Herb Dean left with no option but to stop the fight there. Zero option. Uh, you know, Dimitri at that point, you know, he was not getting out of this. He was so gassed, so fatigued. Now he's mounted, head against the cage, nowhere to up to Upa. That's the worst. Серега, поздравляю тебя с победой. Такой трудовой финиш, да, у тебя получился. Поделись эмоциями, как вообще прошел бой. Все ли получилось, всем ли доволен? Я доволен результатом, но недоволен своими техническими действиями. Можно было получше. В чем, в чем конкретно? Много заготовок, которых я делал, но не использовал их. Это очень плохо. А так, доволен тем, что... Колоссальнейший труд, он не зря прошел, то есть мы не зря трудились с командой, поэтому, слава богу, я победил. А заготовки какие были, то есть это стойка была или да, все-таки ты... Вот, все знают меня, что я бью стойки, но если вы увидели, как бы в партере я тоже ничего не дал с собой сделать. Переводы я пропускаю, но до поры до времени, потому что я не недовесок в этом весь, молодой, из-за этого я пропускаю переводы. А так, да, заготовки были в стойке. Хотелось попасть, попасть в уширу, в голову ногой, но не вышло. Ничего страшного. Я понял, у тебя был достаточно большой промежуток между прошлым боем и этим. Как раз там ты проиграл в борьбе, и сейчас мы видели, что, да, ты, как сказал, проход, проход пропустил, но смог потом перевернуть его, ты как-то работал именно над защитой от борьбы, да, именно от какими-то, может быть, над свипами. Знаешь... Мы смешанники, поэтому нам надо работать над всем. Я в прошлом бою уделял намного больше внимания борьбе, но проиграл за счет нее. Вот. Я уделяю всему по чуть-чуть, стараюсь совершенствоваться во всех аспектах. Мне 21 год, слава богу, я расту только, поэтому все отлично. Какие планы у тебя на будущее? Потому что сам говоришь, что совсем молодой, тем более для тяжелого веса 21 год. И как ты сам сказал, недовесок, может быть, есть мысли на тему того, чтобы штурмовать полутяжелый дивизион? А, да, есть мысли. Но пока еще года 3-4 я расту физически. И весогонкой можно притупить этот рост. 
Поэтому если мне 21 год, а я вешу 105 килограмм, что же будет дальше? Вот. Ну, возможно, я спущу 93. Я понял. Ну и расскажи напоследок про свои эмоции. Ты уже порадовался, то, что 5000 ты забрал, потому что Лига и себе премирует, да, за финиш и начиная да, с я... этого турнира. Я благодарен Господу Богу, своей семье за то, что я выступаю, меня поддерживают. А, спасибо Майербеку. Это он дает большой толчок для развития мы а, в стране, во всем мире. Будем, в принципе, будем честны. ACB претендует на лучшую Лигу мира. Но я в 21 год я являюсь частью этой лиги. Для меня это огромное счастье. Каждый день я благодарю Бога за это.